Scoot, the long-haul low-cost member of SIA, is spreading its wings to Europe. Specifically, it's looking at Athens. But with its hub being in Singapore, how does it expect to compete with the Malaysian low-cost carriers? As such, we asked CCO of Budget, Air, Budget Aviation Holdings, which is Leslie Tung, about why they chose to launch in Malaysia, why the choice of Athens, and how whether they can beat the competition. Welcome today, Mr. Leslie, who's going to be talking about Scoot, which mm. is, of course, the long to medium haul locust arm for mm. SIA. Today, you also actually, uh, you're also the Chief Commercial Officer for Tiger, but today we'll talk specifically about Scoot, Scoot flying to Greece. you got to ask this, uh, why Athens? Why, of all the stops in Europe, even the more popular ones, why, why Athens? I think if you look at Scoot uh, mission, we started as a medium to long haul. In the past four years, we have been operating medium haul. I think we think that this is the right time to go long haul. And uh, as to your question, why Athens? We believe that Athens itself, as a leisure destination, would be able to attract a lot of uh, travelers, a lot of passengers with us. In Athens, you'll be able to see the uh, very famous uh, Acropolis. You'll be able to venture into the very famous islands as well, Santorini. Uh, Athens, if you look into the whole Singapore Airlines network uh, because Scoot is part of the Singapore Airlines group. Uh, Athens for us is a destination that none of the airlines at this moment fly to. So if we go to Athens, we believe that we will be able to tap on all the markets that not only Scoot fly to, but at the same time Tiger Air, which are flying to four destinations in Malaysia, as well as other uh, destinations that Silk Air and Singapore Airlines are flying to. I think with the combined strength, we feel that we are able to stimulate travel demand to travel to Athens, which is a new point for the combined SIA group network. But does all the unrest in Europe worry you? Did that worry Scoot when you were choosing Athens as a point? I don't think we are very much affected. We believe that uh, choosing Athens would be a very good first point for us to go into Europe. Uh, there are a lot of uh, travellers, a lot of uh, customers who want to go to Europe for leisure, who want to do sightseeing in Europe as well. Uh, notwithstanding what is happening in Europe, uh, there are still a lot of passengers from this part of the world going to Europe for their holidays. Oh. So you were saying that actually, is it the Australian, because Scoot's very big in Australia, is it the Australian market that you're tapping to go to Europe? We are not only tapping the Australian market. Yes, we do fly to Australia. We fly to Perth, we fly to Sydney, we fly to Melbourne. Uh, Australian going to Europe is a market that we are tapping, but that is not the only market. Uh, that is the reason why we are in Malaysia today. Even though Scoot does not fly directly to Malaysia, we feel that the Southeast Asia market, including Malaysia, it's an important market for us to tap to bring Malaysian to travel on our sister airline Tiger Air from KL, from Penang, from Ipoh, from Langkawi to connect onto our flight from Singapore to Athens. Your tagline is get out of here. Yep. In fact, when you launched this uh, Europe trip, you actually said you're popping your European cherry. So mm. that gives me an idea that your, your style is a bit funnier, irreverent, mm. very, very different from mm. SIA, which is very, very proper and mm. premium. So, but here's the thing, the marketing and the price. Your, your promotional price is 1998, mm. this includes baggage. Is it enough to discount the fact that you still need to do a hub? You still need to fly from KL to Singapore and Singapore down to Athens because when you do a hub rather than direct, people do expect a discount. Do you think your pricing is competitive enough? Mm. I think first of all, uh, to touch on your question on marketing, uh, from day one, Scoot has adopted a very different philosophy in terms of branding ourselves. Uh, we are fun-loving, we are engaging, we are informal, very different from the parent company Singapore Airlines. Uh, that we are able to do it quite effectively as well. I think that has been very well accepted by the market based on the number of awards that we have won in the past four years. Uh, yes, for Malaysian passengers who need to go to Athens, they would have to transfer or transit via Singapore. I think uh, the price that we have now, which is very attractive, we feel that would be able to stimulate market from Malaysia to go to Athens. Uh, based on what I understand, actually in Malaysia there's no direct flight, 
to go to Athens at this moment. So for us, for Malaysian passengers, we think that the Singapore Changi hub uh, with its competitive advantage would be able to attract passengers to go to Changi to transit and then connect onto Scoot to go to Athens. Others have tried, others have failed to mm. go in, especially for the selling the idea of the long haul, low cost, very, very long haul now. Mm -hmm. You know, what has changed? What has changed? Why did Scoot decide that now is a good time mm. to go to Europe? I think for us, uh, it's always our mission to try to go the long haul. It's just that we did not have the opportunity to do so in the past four years. Uh, for us, I think it's, we have done enough in the past four years to build up our own brand in Singapore as well in the markets that we are flying to. We feel that with a good brand positioning, we will be able to tap the market that Scoot is flying. Are people just more comfortable now with the idea of long haul, low cost, do you think? Or people more budget conscious? Which one is it? I think for the travel market, everyone wants an affordable fare to travel in comfort. It can be from the form of low cost, it can be from the form of full service carrier, depending on who's your market segment. I think what we try to, what we are doing now is we try to continue to do best what we have in the past in giving the empowerment of choice for the customers. Okay, so here's the big question, mm. competition. Air Asia X, which of course is a long haul low cost model, they are planning to fly to Europe from 2018, if you believe the reports, once they get their new A330 NEOs. So Mars also is, is also with their you know, alliance going to Europe as well. Are you going to match the prices of these guys? How are you going, how is Scoot trying to tell you know, the other people who are not aware of Scoot, we can match AX, we can match Mars? I think pricing is a function of the demand. Of course, pricing is a function of your brand proposition as well. Uh, we believe what we have uh, in the market are competitive enough. Uh, we focus a bit more on ourselves in terms of how we can continue to customize our product, how we can continue to be flexible and nimble as we go along in terms of adjusting our network. Do you mark to market your prices? We will definitely look at what the market is selling, but at the same time, because we hope to carry passengers not only from the Singapore market, not only from the Southeast Asia market, we hope through the cooperation that we have with the SIA group, we are tapping into many different markets. So our pricing could be said that it's going to be very quite dynamic in terms of the market. The fact is, you have Big Brother SIA mm. sitting in the back, are, are the deals, the fuel deals, the plane deals, because you did mention your planes are all on finance lease, uh, that, which means that they actually, you actually own the planes. Does that all help with the cost control, having SIA as a big brother? Scoot is a standalone independent company. We are responsible for our own bottom line. That's why I think it's very important that uh, we continue to be very cost competitive. Uh, that is why we have invested quite a lot in having a very young and modern fleet so that we can keep our operating costs low. Uh, having SIA as the parent, I think, is something as a bonus for us whenever we, if we do need help, we are someone to turn to. There you have it with their tagline, Get Out of Here. Scoot definitely thinks it has the marketing chops and the price chops in order to fight and find its place here in Malaysia. But with flights only launching from next year and competition on the horizon, Scoot has to keep on its toes if it hopes to break into the Malaysian airspace.